Okay, so it's time for us to test the policy that we just uh, distributed into the data power box. We saw it's already in there, so let's test this out. So we're going to uh, create a, a, a verified credit service. We're going to do it from student one, and uh, we're going to first make sure that he's member of the group, uh, the 10K, the permit 10K, a group uh, that will allow him to let that service uh, go through and get the validation of the credit. So let's go to the actual system and the first thing that we're going to do is that we're going to log in as was admin here in order to be able to see the users and groups which if we log in as student one we cannot see. So we can look here and manage groups and we can search for all the groups and this is the one remember TSP and permit 10k uh, this is the one that we actually want to see who is the member of and as we see all these students are student one is a member of that group therefore if we go to the lab console which is the the one that is going to actually construct the, the web service and log in as student one We go to lab five, and he ears, here it is, the construction of the credit score. He's checking the credit score on Jack Jones, and he's a student one, the one that logged in. He's a member of the group, so therefore this uh, should pass without any trouble. And sure enough, we see with incredible performance, uh, because the policy is stored at the data power box, the credit score is 637. Uh, so that pass. But what happened if we actually go into the TSPM console and remove from this group student one? So we're going to remove him from the group. Yeah, go ahead and remove it. So student one is no longer on that group. Let's see how the system behaves now. We're going to a student one. We go to the same place as before. We're going to make another query, and we submit it. We submit the query, but now it is being rejected. Again, data power box with its incredible performance and the policy that we define on a centralized place was able to uh, uh, allow or deny the passage of the web service based in this case on a, on a policy which states that if the guy is a member of that group on the LDAP uh, he will be let go through and uh, no otherwise. So we saw that uh, by just changing the group membership the, 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 the behavior of the, of the web service uh, was different.